this is the phase and the leading phase. This is where you can go from 10 million roughly in sales up to a billion or more. Today, I'm gonna share with you the blueprint for building a hundred million dollar freight brokerage. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna share with you today. This involves three key phases of growth because as you start a brokerage and start to grow it, your responsibilities as a broker and a business owner change and evolve, all right? So phase number one is what I call the selling phase, all right? So this is your startup phase. This is what I call the selling phase. And this is where, you know, you're a solo broker and you're selling and serving your customers by yourself. That means, you know, you have learned how to set your brokerage up. You've learned how to find your niche. You know, you've learned how to get shippers through cold calling or LinkedIn or different strategies. You've learned how to find and dispatch trucks, right? You've learned how to do some billing and, you know, pay carriers and working with factoring companies. You've learned how to handle claims uh, associated with any of the shipments. So those are some of the fundamental things you have learned in the startup phase. This is what I call the selling phase, phase one. This is what I talk about a lot and go over in my Freight Broker Bootcamp online training program, right? I've trained over 10,000 students through that program and we offer a 60 day, 100% unconditional money back guarantee. If you guys want to check that out, just go to freightbrokerbootcamp.com. Again, that's the startup selling phase, all right? This is the phase where a lot of people start making a good solid income. In this phase, you can earn six figures, right? Phase number two, what I call the building phase. This is where you start to build a team, right? The owner, the broker is still selling, meaning you don't get rid of all your customers, you don't stop selling. You're gonna continue to sell, but you're gonna build a team of what I call doers, right? People that are going to help you to serve and sell. So this is where you would hire, you know, dispatchers or brokers or agents, you know, to help you serve and sell to grow your business. This is where you would also probably hire an accounting person or a billing person. This is where you might hire an IT person to start helping you with some of the IT and the technical stuff, the computers and software and things of that nature. This is the building phase. In phase number one, when I talked about selling, that usually goes from startup to maybe around a million dollars in sales. But in phase number two, when you start going into the building phase, this is where you go from a million dollars in sales to let's call it around maybe 10 million or so in sales. So this is a phase that a lot of people struggle from going from phase one in the selling phase to phase two with the building phase because they have a hard time hiring and managing people. They have a hard time developing systems, right? So those are some of the pitfalls and some of the issues that you run into trying to go from phase one where you're selling to phase two where you're building. And again, in that building phase, this is where you start hiring people and training people and teaching people. And this is where a lot of people struggle, but this is the this is the phase where, you know, you can really start to scale your brokerage where yeah, you, if you're doing 10 million dollars in sales and you're operating efficiently, you're making a really solid multi six figure income that's going in your pocket, okay? Phase 3 is what I call the leading phase. This is where you become a more of a leader in your organization. Rarely at this stage is the broker or the owner still selling. Um, he probably has divested himself of his customers and assigned them to different people in his organization by then. And now at this point, what he's doing is as opposed to just hiring the dispatchers and agents and, and brokers and, and, and you know the doers, what I call the doers, he starts hiring and building a team a management team. He's going to start hiring sales managers. He's going to start hiring operations managers, HR managers, maybe a CFO or a controller, right? Or a vice president of finance. This is the phase in the leading phase. This is where you can go from 10 million roughly in sales up to a billion or more. Because here's the cool part. The difference between phase two and phase three is really not that huge, right? This is where you replicate what you did in phase two, but now you do it in building a management team, right? You've already hired people. You've already trained people. So this is the leading phase. This is where, again, you go out and build an actual team and then you lead them and help them navigate through the up markets and the down markets. 
The cool part is what you're doing as a 10 or 20 or $30 million brokerage is pretty much the same as you'll be doing as a 100, 200, $500 million brokerage. The job doesn't change that much, but you can see how the progression goes. Phase one, brokers are selling in startup phase and they're really just getting their feet with under them and they're just starting to get some revenue. Maybe they're doing a half a million, a million dollars in sales and they're starting to make money. Phase two is where you really start to scale up. You go from maybe a million to 10 million and that is really through hiring people to help you service and sell your product. And then phase three is where you really build a management team, right? You start managing your managers, right? You start leading and managing sales, you know, sales managers, operations managers, CFOs, things of that nature. So those are really the three primary phases. And like I said, the business doesn't change a whole lot in phase three from 10 million to a hundred million dollars in sales. But here's the problem, right? Here's what I like to tell people. In phase one, you can have a business and you can make money and you make a good income, right? You can make a six figure income. In phase two, that's where you can start to really make a lot of money, right? In phase two. And in phase three, that's where you can get wealthy. That's where, you know, at some point you may actually be able to sell that brokerage to a larger company and cash out, you know, similar to how I did when I built my business, eventually growing that business to about $80 million a year in sale and then selling it, right? That company with the same management team has went on now and they do over a half a billion dollars a year. So that job didn't change dramatically, but ultimately the hardest phase for people to get through is from phase one to phase two, right? You got to get through phase one. You got to build those systems. You got to build those skills. You got to build the fundamentals, right? That's the foundation of your house, right? If you're going to build a house, the foundation is really the core part of it, right? Because no matter how good of a house you build, if you build it on sandy ground or you build it on a swamp, right? It's going to sink and it's going to break down. So if you can get from phase one to phase two, you can build a highly successful highly scalable freight brokerage and, you know, do extremely well, serve your customers, serve your employees and serve yourself. So I hope that helps. Those are the three phases. That's the blueprint for building a hundred million dollar freight brokerage. Listen, if you guys are curious about getting started as a freight brokerage, check out freightbrokerbootcamp.com. Again, we trained over 10,000 students. We have a 60 day, 100% unconditional money back guarantee. And if you're curious about scaling where you really want to scale from the sales perspective where you need help getting customers, right? Where that's the big struggle. You need to scale up on your customer acquisition. You can get on the wait list for my freight broker sales accelerator program. That's where I take this piece of my brain. I transplant it into your head and I teach you everything I know about how to get shippers, how to scale your business through sales using my proven system, the system that allowed me to do over $200 million as a freight broker. And you can get on that wait list at freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash waitlist. Again, that's closed right now. That program sold out, but I will reopen it in the future. The only way you can get access to that is through the waitlist. So thank you everybody for joining me and make sure you click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next week on the next Freight Burger Bootcamp Live.